Seven! Seventy-four. Seven, seventy-four. Let's fucking go! Okay, so in the pig tile function section, we have added this little helper function. We just stubbed it in. It's a overload for this function right here. Pig tile gen kd7. So you see the same base name right here. And then we have all of these things. These things right here are in the exact same order as these things. So you can read here to know what they are. This is just a stub. We'll finish this maybe in the next video. Oh, that's a fucking lie. We'll add some code, but we won't finish it. And then right here, this is pretty much finished. This, uh generation function that's going to generate all of our placeholder graphics and all of the kd7 cells if we get on here to our variables we have a whole bunch more variables so you can pause here to read these because i ain't got fucking time to read them for you and then we go down here you can pause here to read these and then let's scroll down to the code so we're going to loop through every single kd7 cell and we're just going to erase everything so we're going to extract the master memory cell from the kd7 index we're going to get the inclusive selection area in pixels and then we're going to loop through that inclusive selection area and we're going to convert the xy pixel to an index multiply by four to get the base address of the pixel in bytes and then we're going to seek to the red green blue and alpha of our pixel and we're going to zero that the fuck out. We're going to erase all of our memory. Now, why are we doing that? Well, just as a safety precaution, because now we're going to write all that memory. We're going to go through every everything, every single KD7 cell. We're going to go through it, and we're going to stamp 48 unique placeholder graphics. This logic here, same as up above, we're going to get the master memory cell from the KD7 index. We're going to get the inclusive selection area that that master memory cell represents, and then we are going to get the channel that the current placeholder image is encoded in. Zero, one, two, or three for red, green, blue, or alpha. And then we're gonna piece it all together in this placeholder, right? Placeholder image, inclusive selection area, and the channel it's encoded on. And we're gonna loop through every single KD7 cell and every single placeholder image within the KD7 cell to make all of our placeholder graphics. Now, here's what I did previously. You got some footnotes and footnotes, and if you want a longer explanation, go to Ninja Playlist. I don't have time on Kanji Playlist. Technical demos are here. Source code is here, and ways of getting a hold of me. Like and subscribe. My name is Kanji Coder. I'm making a game engine from scratch, and I am documenting every single fucking line of code that is not a fucking joke that's not an exaggeration